Black holes are already a huge deal in the world of astronomy, but now scientists have found something even more bizarre. Have you ever heard about something called a white hole? Well, we think that it has just been discovered by astronomers. So make sure to watch this video to the very end to find out all about this terrifying discovery and what it means for the future of the space industry. Black holes are some of the most horrifying objects that are present in outer space because they literally eat up everything around them. Some scientists believe that our world will also end by getting lost in a black hole. Black holes are usually formed when a star collapses and they could be massive. Almost every single galaxy has at least one black hole including ours. But the thought of black holes fascinates the scientists so much that they eventually looked for a counterpart. Carl Schwarzschild was the one who used Einstein's field equation and proved the theory of empty spacetime. When we reverse this equation, what we get is simply called a white hole. Scientists have been saying for decades that it's very unlikely for white holes to exist, but things are looking promising now more than ever. We know that if something enters a black hole, it cannot escape. But white holes are a little different as nothing can enter a white hole. Some scientists are now dwelling upon the possibility of white holes being the other side of black holes. If a spaceship would look at a white hole from a distance, it would look a lot like a black hole. We could also see a ring of gas around the white hole and also a bubbly boundary that makes it look distinct. The only thing that might help you differentiate between a black and a white hole is a belch. White hole is so exclusive that no aircraft or even no object can enter its edge. Even though the objects that are already present inside a white hole can quite easily interact with the space outside. Also, whatever happens with the world around the white hole, it doesn't really affect the inside of it. Scientists also call white hole a singularity. This concept was introduced by Carl Schwarzschild after he solved Einstein's equation of space and time. He concluded that a singularity is a round mass that is infinitely dense and is shrunken down. This mass wraps around its space so tightly that it completely fractures the link of cause and effect. Black holes are also famous singularities in space where if you enter once, you can't really get out. Even though the things happening around the black hole can affect its internal situation, the interior isn't going to have any effect on the outer world. Scientists have been researching on black holes for almost 40 years and we still don't know a lot about them. We've hardly gotten a few pictures and that's pretty much it. But when it comes to white holes, it's a rather new subject, so it definitely is going to take a lot of time for scientists to understand it in a better way. Even though scientists have been doing their research on white holes, they don't really know for sure how they're actually formed. Some do say that their formation is similar to that of black holes, but nothing is proven on record yet. Hal Haggard, a theoretical physicist, says that white holes don't really last that long because any matter coming out of the white hole can collide with its orbit and turn it into a black hole. So to understand white holes properly, we actually need to find and analyze one. Stephen Hawking stated back in the 1970s that black holes leak energy and that's why they eventually die. Some people believe that the same might be the case with white holes. But if these singularities just die with time, what happens to all the stuff that's inside of them? That's the question that the scientists have been trying to solve for so long. Some scientists even believe that when black holes die, that's when white holes are born. But to consider this scenario, we have to violate the rules of general relativity. Rovelli, the founder of quantum loop gravity, says that when black holes get too small, it starts disobeying the rules followed by stars. It's possible that in this randomness, it turns into a white hole. This theory surely is a huge discovery that actually defines the formation of white holes and justifies black holes turning into white holes. Even though the evidence is still not present, but we actually got to know that black and white holes can sometimes disobey the rules of physics in space. But according to scientists, the white hole formed by destruction of a black hole would be even smaller than a human hair. So it wouldn't have any gravity like black hole had and it won't even suck stuff inside of it. In addition to this, they also believe that this kind of white hole would contain information of all the things that the black hole swallowed in the past. If this is how white holes work, then they surely are going to take over the universe once they become big enough. 
but it's going to take trillions of years for white holes to become big enough to be spotted easily. That might also be the reason why scientists are unable to spot them, even though they've been trying it for quite a while now. People who study white holes even believe that Big Bang was also caused by a white hole, as the explosion caused by matter and energy sounds a lot like the behavior of a white hole. They even say that white holes are so mathematically identical to the Big Bang that it's almost mind-blowing. So even though some scientists still don't believe in the existence of white holes, they are already being considered the very reason for the formation of this world. This discovery surely is mind-blowing because it completely changes the way we study and react to the Big Bang Theory. We are far away from finding the truth of our origin yet, but scientists believe that if we continue down the path of white holes, we might find something interesting. So what's the harm in looking for the truth? We might find something we didn't expect. Even though a lot of astronomers aren't on board with the idea of black holes turning into white holes, it surely is a justifiable explanation and a huge discovery considering the fact that we don't know a lot about the white holes. They've never even been photographed, despite the fact that the most technologically advanced telescope is out there, looking for such objects for over a year now. What could be the reason other than the fact that white holes are smaller than we think? A picture was circulating lately that claimed of being a white hole, but no, scientists haven't found a white hole yet, but they surely have discovered theories about it that are going to change the space industry for good. The biggest theory surely is white holes causing the Big Bang, and if this side of the story is researched more, it might pan out into something. Do you think white holes really exist, and could they be the reason for the Big Bang? Make sure to tell us in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, adios from our side.